Good morning, everybody. Welcome, Good morning, welcome. Good morning, Georgiana. How are you? Good, and you? <laughs> Great, so good to see you every Thursday. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna start up our, our Thursday morning. It's weird, I feel like this is like the start to the week because I feel like Thursday, Friday, Saturday are really busy Avon mm -hmm. days. So it's good to start my I'm, day with you. I'm used to my Thursday, so. <laughs> And we do have a lot of fun. I was I was uh, watching our last video. I'm like, wow, we laughed at least 20 times. <laughs> good for losing weight. Those nice big belly laughs. <laughs> it's good therapy, though. <laughs> it is, it is, 100%. And I've been loving everybody who's been joining in the comments yeah. um, and chatting with us, connecting with you guys from all over the U.S. It's super fun. So if you yeah. haven't already, share in the comments box where you're watching from, give, give us a hello or a shout out. If you're, even if you're watching the replay, give us a hashtag replay in the chat box so that we can say hi to you. Yes, and follow uh, Georgiana's page for um, live videos, notifications and updates. Here we are every Thursday. And yes, today we are talking about events, free events. <laughs> Free being the key word there. <laughs> Free. <laughs> we all know that uh, free is better than paid. So, <laughs> so we're gonna give you some ideas today. <laughs> what do you think, Georgiana? I think that this is this was sort of a game changer for me in my business because I think when you first get started, the idea is to um, get started into parties and craft fairs, and it can be really expensive upfront, especially for a new representative to make that investment. And I found over the years, like in the past, you can find a craft fair um, in a local church or bazaar, um, especially now as we move transition to the holidays, there are always a lot of fairs. And you used to be able to find some that were like $25, but now they're all upwards, well, at least in my area, most of them are upwards 60, yeah. 100, $200. So free fairs for me were a great way for me to get the opportunity to promote my business without having to make that investment up front. And I was able to reinvest the money I would pay just for a table, you know, without even having getting any sales into supplies, whether it's brochures, samples, or um, demonstration products. Mm -hmm. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Victoria, good morning. Thank you for joining. And um, yes, and also uh, free is duplicatable, so. Yes. <laughs> For those of us who are leaders who are teaching our team to repeat our activities, you it's something you can teach, definitely. Yes, and um, um, Georgiana is gonna talk about online free events, ideas, and I'm gonna talk about feel, out there, setting up, finding the event, and giving you this confidence to start building your business. Um, things are opening up uh, here in our area. All the restaurants, the bars are opening up. And, um, you know, we want you to be safe out there, but people are getting out. Uh, they're wearing a mask, they're practicing social distancing. So this is like the new way of doing business. And you know, if you're a shy person, um, sometimes a mask could be, <laughs> could be a shield, like nobody knows me. Just my <laughs> like a bandit, you just, <laughs> I never thought about that. That's a good point for the shy reps. Well, somebody actually gave me that idea. I was like, oh my so how are you doing? I said, oh, I'm loving the mask because that way I get to go out, talk to people. I don't really yes, know. you don't have to be. <laughs> That's a okay. great way to build your confidence while you work up to, you know, when we get out of this season, you know, you can get the practice in now. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I have met so many people, uh, like when we go to a uh, grocery store, that um that are there and and they say hi hello that you know they recognize me for some reason i'm like can you take your mask off so i can see who you are? <laughs> you're like i don't know who you are i don't know who you are. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes let's be safe and 
Um, first, I want, to, I want to talk about how to find those events. And my number one, my number, number one idea is to reach out to small businesses. Mm -hmm. So small businesses are um, grocery stores, supermarkets. Those are my most favorite ones. They're clothing stores. There's restaurants. And, um, you know, basically just asking if you can set up a small table, make sure that your setup is also very, very uh, professional because you are representing a business, yeah. right? Including so, your look. You want to look professional, you want your setup to be professional as well. Yes. So what would be some of the ideas that um that you would share georgiana as far as a, a professional setup um you're the uh, person to talk about that because you always look professional you always you always so done with nice makeup and you know share some ideas well i would say you know look at it as if you're on like a job interview not to the point where you're wearing like full suit but you're when you go on an interview you're you you dress differently because you want to give the person you're speaking to a good impression of you you we know how important first impressions are so i feel like when you're going to a special event you dress differently so if you put it in your mind that when you're doing your field events it's like you're, you're doing interviews you're interviewing as the representative for potential new customers. You want them to know that you mean business, that you, you take your business seriously so that they can trust you to place orders. But for me, when I go out, I tend to lead with recruiting. So I, I wanna show that the people that I'm working with that this is gonna be a good working relationship. You know, I'm not coming out with, um, you know, sweats and stains on my t-shirts. I had someone, when I first got started in this business, she said, you know, even if you are going out in sweats, make sure you have like your coordinated two-piece sweatsuit <laughs> that looks good. And in the past, Avon used to have some really cute jumpsuits and sweatsuits. So if I was going for a run, I don't run, but if I was going for a run or a walk or a jog, I would try to put myself together, you know, cute. But what I try to do when I'm going to businesses is I I think I put myself in like I'm going to work. So I know either slacks or jeans. If I'm wearing jeans, I usually wear like darker jeans with a either like, like usually I just have on my Avon t-shirt and then a blazer. Um, but, you know, make sure that your clothes are smooth. They're not wrinkly. Make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes because you're going to be standing all day. Um, even if they, if you're a heels person and you're comfortable in heels, go with heels. I tend to go with flats. I lean away from sneakers unless it's a very, like a plain black sneaker because mm -hmm. I want to just make my look coordinated and easy so that when someone looks at me, they think, okay, that person is a business professional mm -hmm. and it's helped in a lot of instances because sometimes I'm out and um, people will approach you like, who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> and if for me to be able to say, you know, here, I'm out here representing Avon, I'm representing Avon. So I want to do that. Mm -hmm. well, I'm out here representing breast cancer awareness. I'm out here, you know, you're representing something. So you want to give that mm -hmm. good first impression. And people 100% approach you differently when you look put together. They are also approach you as a professional. So, you know, um, black is great or um, if you don't want to wear like a button down shirt, um, you can wear a, a company t-shirt, but try to think of it as a uniform. Mm -hmm. I love it. And and they do, people look at you differently. If you're not looking, um, you know, just uh, done, done up or, um, you know, looking good and professional, like you said, then they tend to not really take you serious. And um, you're representing a business after all. Um, a business is, is uh, it has an image and they want to make sure that they keep that image. So uh, yeah. definitely. Coordinate. Yes, great share. So what do we do after we, we go, we're all dressed up and we are reaching out to our local businesses and, um, you know, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm with Avon. And um, I'm here because we do uh, events locally to reach out to business owners and, um, you know, just just to set up a table to greet your customers, to show them our products. And at the same time, we will be uh, promoting you to the, the customers that come. So there's two ways of 
um, of having a table. I like to set up a table in a business and set up my perimeter with signs so that I can attract other people from other places to come visit that business, come see me, and uh, you know, just basically provide uh, that business with a new clientele. So I love that you said that you're promoting them as well. So you're not coming in begging to set up a table. You're again asserting yourself and saying, "Hey, I'm a business professional. I'm here to partner with you to promote your business, to serve your customers, to provide a service to you and your customers." So even the words that you're using help um, reinforce your professionalism. Yes, and and that's you know that's that's the main thing. What's in it for them? Yeah. You know, it's not what's in it for you. So. Um, another tip when you're setting up your table, do not take a lot of products. Set up your event <laughs> with just, if it fits in a box, if it fits in a little uh, cart, um, even your small table, your tablecloth, make sure you do have a tablecloth, not a bare table. You don't want to have a bare table. Yeah. Um, and the products that you take will be conversational products. For example, um, skincare or uh, fragrance, you know, his and hers. We're going to be talking about physio gel later on uh, at the end of our <laughs> introduction to events. And, um, and you know, it's, it's something so that they can try and they can stay connected with you. Um, so you're able to talk about the opportunity. You are there to recruit and you're there to recruit first. I'm going to tell you why. Because if you set up an event where you're selling products, you're not going to bring in team members. But if you're there to recruit and you are showing products, you're going to be able to do both. You have brochures, you have uh, business cards, you have products. But um, the fact that you're there with something in mind to bring in new team members is the most essential thing for setting up at an event, at a free event. And we're talking about using local businesses um, to be able to set up a small table. So I'm gonna, what would you, what I'm would you add? Talking, But I have a quick picture that I, would, I just want to share with everyone. So keep talking. <laughs> and I just want to share this photo just to give people an idea of a table I've set up. Just simple, clean. Um, but you were talking about products. So I just wanted to show a few things that I have. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And see, look at the table. It's small. Uh, she has all her um, materials organized in that big bag. Um, it, it has a clipboard so that she can get names and numbers. Um, Avon brochures, you can have a raffle going, uh, you know, she has a, um, if you can see is the, uh, the um, six, six most, um, purchase products. Was that the name of the, um, the, um, oh, bag? I don't even remember. It was like our top. I know what you mean. I can't remember the name though, but it was like our top, our most selling products our most famous Yes. Uh, yeah. So that's that that could be that's a giveaway. You could have an A box as a giveaway. You can have a small uh, bundle of products, but something that you can get names and numbers and that uh, people get motivated about entering a raffle and um, entering their name to to win something. And that way you can also follow up. That's, yeah. This is a great setup. Look at that, you guys. This Simple. is something. Yes, yeah, simple, very duplicatable. And, um, you know, it, um, she's set up by the side of the road. Some places don't have limitations. That's a sidewalk event, mm -hmm. it's also a free event. Um, you know, you can do the same thing from the trunk of your car. That's also a free event. Let me see if I have pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi Nita, how are you? Thank you for saying hi and Donna, welcome. I hope you are enjoying our training and we're talking about free events. So we talked about setting up at a local business. We talked about 
um, setting up at um, the side of the road. Just make sure that your area is okay with any free events that you take on um, our area. Now we can set up on the side of the road. We, we could set up um, by our car and we cannot have products for sales. We just have to have um, products to promote. We um, give free stuff, but not sales. We are not allowed to have any kind of sales when you're doing these kind of free events. I think that's sort of, that with the free events, that's usually um, very common. And I think that if you come into it with the mindset that you're there to promote as opposed to sell, like if you're looking to sell on somebody else's property, then you're usually asking, then you're asking for a favor. Um, mm -hmm. But if you're looking to promote with the free products or the you know free giveaway, then you're more likely to be able to do a free event. Yes, I love that. So it's, it's you, I love that how you said it. If you're, if you have in mind that you're there to promote, not to sell, and um, you know you're sharing the opportunity, and that is one of the main, main um, things that we do when we do the free events. When I get out, when I go out, I go out to recruit because you're always going to find sales, and people are going to go to your e store or they're gonna place an order for you. And, and you can use some of these um, events. Look at that. That is awesome. Yes, this is by a business, right? Yeah, this was a partnership we did with T-Mobile. I don't know if you can even see on the table. Yes, I love it. We might've had it in our hand, but um, we were just promoting our partnership with T-Mobile and Sprint. Um, so, that was what we leveraged when we were speaking with them. This is my teammate Cordelia, uh, mm -hmm. who I was out with. But we were we partnered with them to promote their special offers that Avon representatives get in partnership with their business. So we had this is I think their table. We just put our tablecloth and um, some brochures, some sample kits, things like that, just to keep it simple. Very good. And we still had that partnership. We have it with Sprint. And even though they're not um, a small businesses, they are, um, you know, they 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 are owned privately owned. Even though they're regulated by a corporation, they have either a store manager or even the owner. Most of the times, is there, and you're able to tell them, hey, look, if I, you know, we have a, a partnership, we have a great discount with. Um, with um, you know your company for joining um, your your plan, we have it. We get a discount uh, from our rate, so that is right there. Um, you know your introduction to maybe help them. Um, right. Yes, open accounts or maybe help them. Uh, if someone is uh, not getting the discount, you can sign them up so that they can become representatives and they can get uh, the discount. <laughs> I like those. I'm trying to see like a trunk event that we did, but I, I can't find photos for. <laughs> we used to do them a lot. You know, there's a lot of fall festivals also um, happening now. Uh, now that you talked about trunk events and um, Yes, a lot of them just ask you to bring some candy for the kids. And um, with those candies, you can reach out to the moms and yes. um, look at that. And this that's a regular car, right? This is my old little baby. <laughs> Very good. It's not a van. Look, totally duplicatable. I have a van, but look how nicely set up that is just using a trunk. That is Pop things up, hide the crap that's in the back of your truck. <laughs> but the key is to just keep it simple. Yes, I love it, Georgiana. Wow. Yeah. See, look, it's simple. It's um you open your trunk, you uh you know, have your display and your signs, of course, in the perimeter so people can stop by, or if you have uh people walking around, you can approach them and uh, establish a conversation. So mm -hmm. This is something. Um, this is something that anyone can duplicate and anyone can do. Yeah. And then, then are recruiting. Oh, are you doing these setups now? We are being very careful with uh, staying safe because of COVID. 
So yes, if you're able to set up an event and if, you're, if your area is uh, open, um, reach out to local businesses because local businesses are open and people are coming in. So, you know, wear your mask and, um, you know, Step yeah, up. distance, you know, practice safe distance, but it's time to start going out and doing um, some things what makes you comfortable, but you have to start with something. And the reason why we're talking about free events face-to-face -face is because there's a lot of representatives who, who are not uh, computer or social media savvy. So we are giving you other options to, you know, get out there and start networking. And the new, the new thing is wearing a mask. So, hey, let's go back to the field. And if you're not ready, Georgiana is going to talk about uh, free online events with some ideas on how you can also have your own uh, social selling events. Yeah, we got you covered. Because look, at the end of the day, everybody works their business differently and everybody is in a different area. Some people are already going out and doing those events. So you got to have to be the judge of the area that you're in. Um, your own lifestyle and social situation. Of course, we want everybody to be safe and not put anyone at risk. But you know, if you are in an area where you can, or if you can get a setup where um, you can distance yourself, I like the table set setups because you can put your table in front and then you can keep yourself back. So people can come to your table and take off a, a brochure or a sample without you having to be close to them. So you know, if you're working with a business that has that space, you can distance yourself. In our area, you know, the UPS, the supermarket, the post office, they have a table in the middle and there's a representative all the way at the back. <laughs> so, you know, you're not coming close to that person and everybody knows, well, not everybody, there are some people, but most people know to, you know, if there's one person at the table, the next person stays behind until it's their turn. So, you know, just, we're just trying to share ideas to get you guys, to give you guys things that you can try that are different. I showed you a couple of different pictures and images to, to kind of just spark your brain. Cause I know sometimes when we are talking, if you're a visual learner like I am, sometimes it helps to see. But um, the same techniques that Milagro shared for when you're doing in-person um, free events is the same for when you're doing online free events. You want to dress professionally. You want to look good. You know, unless you're doing like a makeover pajama party, and even then, you're not going to wear your tattered pajamas. You're going to wear your nice pajamas. I have some pictures if you check out my blog where I'm um, doing skincare, but I'm in my nice robe. You know, I'm not in my you know <laughs> holy painted t-shirts. You know, so um also approaching businesses and talking to them as a professional you know sharing that you want to promote um, a special offer to their customers it's the same way you would approach them through an email a letter or a, um, sms online so the the concepts and ideas that you're using whether it's in person or online are the same so we want you guys to feel comfortable i know a lot of people are intimidated about online sometimes but you really don't have to be because the the basic method and ideas behind both approaches are you know fundamentally the same but the difference for online for example is your home so you you kind of want to take into account some other things like your setup so when we're we were talking about having a nice display on your table when you're recording you want to have something you know either a clean display behind you um, I have a lot of stuff that is pushed out of the way when I do my videos so that you don't see a lot of clutter and confusion behind me. Um, or I'll elevate my camera so you can't see the unopened Avon boxes on the floor. Um, or you can have a lot of people have like a, a display rack. And um, Janine Whitaker did a really nice video showing um, some tips for how you can set up a display rack without having so much product that it looks cluttered, but that what few products you have on your rack really stand out. So you can do that as your backdrop, but when you're recording online, um, in addition to just having a display table in front of you, your backdrop also becomes a part of your display. So that's something else to keep in mind when you're promoting online, but you can use Facebook Live either on your personal page, your business page, or in groups or on YouTube on Tuesday nights. Now, officially Tuesday nights at eight, I'm doing a Facebook Live on my YouTube channel where I go through some of my favorite products and I share tips for my, my customers and clients. But those are free events, you know, just mm -hmm. take, you can go live on YouTube through your desktop. Um, it's a free event, it's on your page, you can put it up there, you can record it if you're not comfortable doing a live video like what me and Malagras do here. And that kind of gives you the freedom and flexibility to give a test run 
watch it, see how you like it, look at your background to see if there's anything strange in there. You know, a friend or family member walking by in their underwear doesn't matter. You could just pause it and re-record. So it's a great way for you to get comfortable speaking as well. I found that I've been doing these live videos for years. And if you go back and watch my initial live videos, I'm naturally a fast talker. And over the years, I've <laughs> A little bit. I've slowed down a little bit. I'm a fast talker. <laughs> but I've gotten more comfortable just even forming the words and speaking and thinking of a complete sentence to put together to describe the products in my mind. And that helps me when I'm in the field and vice versa. The, the field work that I did allows me to think of, okay, you know, if I'm sharing this product, what are some of the things that people used to ask me when I shared a new fragrance or a new skincare product? Now, when I'm doing my presentation online, I can be aware of those questions that people normally ask so that I can respond to them when I'm online. So we don't want you guys to feel like online events and in-person events are so completely on opposite sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. They are very, they have a lot in common. So you can use yeah. those skills. And you can even mix them up. Like you can have a combination, yeah. So um, you know, online and and um, and face to face. I I used to I used to love to do that <laughs> when um, you know by creating by just creating an event and then you have your public event. So you know you can mix them up. You can mix up your online with your face to face, and you can even invite once you're face to face. You can even invite the people that you're um, networking with, you can invite them to your online events. Hey, I'd like to invite you to our group. Um, you can share links of what you talk about and um, and just, just being creative. But um, yes. And I would say too, businesses love the promotion when you go live in their, um, in their business because that's free advertising for them. Yes. So if you're doing an event, take a quick video. I'm trying to, I will post, I know I've done one on, I don't know if it was YouTube or Facebook, mm -hmm. but I'll post the link where we were having a, um, like a sip and shop, which is essentially where a couple of people get together. You have food and snacks and drinks um, in an establishment. I used to like to use restaurants because the restaurants would provide the food. So they would get my patronage for the food. Um, for supplying the food. And then I would have people come and I would put out a little table with some products for display. And um, I would just take the camera like, okay guys, we are live at our event. And I would do a, a quick pan and have everybody say hello. I would maybe pan to the staff of the restaurant and say, you know, these are the guys that are allowing us to use their um, establishment for our party. Um, so it's a great way. I love that idea to use the two mm -hmm. of them together. Mm -hmm. Um, and Tracy asked if we're talking about opportunity meetings, we're talking about um, setting up free events for recruiting, um, how to find them, how to set up and, and different types of events. So, um, you know, we cover pretty much uh, a whole lot of information. So make sure you check it out <laughs> from the beginning because it's going to be an amazing, an amazing way to for you to generate ideas and totally, totally duplicatable for, for everyone. And um, so, you know, next, what, what we like to do is um, set up in our calendar. And this is important because if you do an event, uh, for example, I've seen representatives who say, oh, I have an event in, in December and we are in October. Okay, so what are you doing in between those months? So be consistent, <laughs> be consistent, yes, be consistent and just set up your events where you're bringing in your numbers. Remember you're working for you. If you're working one or two times a year and then the rest of the months are just idle, it's, it's going to come to a point that you're going to get frustrated and it's going to make you quit. Um, you do not in any business open only one or two times a month. Even though now for fall and the holidays, it's our busiest time of the year. It's very rare that you find a successful business. Otherwise, we call them seasonal businesses. And, you know, if you have a seasonal job or a part time job, you usually have to have a separate job, you know, aside from that. So you want if you want your Avon business to be year round or full time or to provide a steady part time income, it has to be year round. And if you're only doing shows, um, then you have to be booking shows every week, yes. twice a week. You know, you have to be consistent with it. So 
that's another mindset that I think that we need to sort of tear down. I mean, again, it's your business. You, <laughs> you set your own schedule. But if you're looking for consistency, it's not sustainable to only have one or two events. Yes, it's not sustainable and it's not effective. As a matter of fact, it's, 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 um, it's just something that is not even going to make a drop um, in your business. One event um, every once in a while. You have to be consistent. You have to make sure you set goals, that you know what it is that you're going after, that you work hard for yourself. Um, you know, a lot of the things that 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 made me stay in the business is that I believe, I believe, um, I believe in myself. I believe that I could do it. I believe that there were other people successful. So why couldn't I be successful? Yeah. And it's, it's not about, you know, I am more knowledgeable, I am nicer, or, you know, I laugh better than the other one. <laughs> this has nothing to do with that. It has to do with being consistent, with setting up on a schedule, and just sticking with it. Um, I was sharing yesterday to one of my representatives, we're doing a one-on-one, -on -one, and um, and I said, I said to her, I, I gave up. I wanted to give up so many times when I was building my business. And, and I used to tell my husband, who didn't mind me giving up because <laughs> he didn't support me at all <laughs> at the beginning. So I'm like, I've had it. This is frustrating. I quit. <laughs> and then he would look at me and he said, oh, yeah? And, and what are you going to do? I'm like, okay, let me take a moment. <laughs> <laughs> let me get back up on this horse real quick. <laughs> what are you gonna do when you quit? You know, what I mean? let me know. <laughs> that's I where know. having that strong goal comes in because that's yeah. what gets you over the hump. It was either quit and go back to work or just, you know, like we say in the military, suck it up and drive on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yes you guys it's i mean i know that it's not easy starting a business that you're basically and i and we've mentioned this many times you're basically working hard for little money but you are in the building process and you know if, if you if you are in a hurry to make money you and you can't wait well, go get a job or, or find find a means for something that can give you, um, you know, that, that can get you out of the hole. Because building a or business. Really work time. your business. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, not for nothing, but I feel like a lot of times people, oh, this doesn't work for me. I'm just going to go do something else. But it's like, but you're going to go do something else. You're really going to work at that something else because that now you're working for someone else. You can't slack off. You mm -hmm. don't have that option. So why not put that same energy into your business and turn your business into something that's amazing? Yes. And, and you know, <laughs> like, like um, you know, I, I, I do recommend if you're able to afford to quit your job, yes, by all means, go 100%. But there's people who quit their job and they stay home and they don't get out of the house and they you you can't make money like that work is work you gotta yeah. work whatever it is whether it's your day job or your avon business i always recommend i mean i say to my friends you can't quit the job you're at and not go to another job you know if you need the income so it's the same thing with your business you can't just quit your job and say well you know i have this avon thing but not work your avon thing you have to you got to work it, you know, whatever it is. Otherwise, you're not going to have an income. So <laughs> you just, you know, I mean, <laughs> don't come for me, people. But, um, you know, it's you You have to work your business. You have to go to your job. If it's if your job is your Avon business, then you have to go to it like it's your job. You have to show up for work at the end of the day. And we 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 talk about quitting your job and going Avon full time. That's a goal for some people. It's not a goal for everyone. Yeah. But you have to be realistic about it. You have to, you know, I, I always look at my finances. You have to have at least um, six to 12 months savings to kind of keep you afloat. You know, whatever you're doing, don't just do it because you heard other people talking about it. Make a plan, set your goal and work at it consistently. 
Yes, I love that. So yes, and, and you know, you couldn't have uh, put it, it so much better. You have to have a plan. And if you don't have the support of someone um, at home, ask for that support, ask your family if they will be willing to, you know, to wait. Get up and move on. <laughs> Yes, it's so I know you guys. I know it's hard. <laughs> I, you know, you're not gonna be making um a hundred dollars forever. You're gonna you're gonna see that your earnings are gonna duplicate, they're gonna they're gonna double, triple because you are working hard. Person, I don't know if it was Darren Hardy. Where's Natasha? We were talking a few weeks ago about our um the people we go to for our um personal development, but there's someone I don't know if it was Darren Hardy but they say success leaves clues, you know? And everyone who's successful, you see them working hard at their business, you see them showing up consistently, the clues are there. So if you're also working your business, you'll start to see the results. You know, you're not gonna be going at it forever and not see any result at all. Yes. So that's, that's, uh, that's all we have for free events here. And um, I yeah. hope that, yes. <laughs> Look at Alice. She says that she tells her husband every week, I'm going to quit. And he always smiles and asks me, what will your customers do uh, when they miss you? <laughs> and she good says, your customers. That's great. Yes. You, you got to enjoy what you do and you have to have a passion uh, for what you are doing because people are going to know if you're just in it for the money and not really care about using the products or you're not using the products, um, you know, it's not gonna be the same. You love your team, you have your goals, but it all, like her customer base is a part of Alice's why. That's what drives her. Yes, I love that. Yes, and you know, there's nothing more satisfying than that relationship that you build with them and also with your team members. So, you know, get out there, you guys, and just, we you know, do it. great. Do it. Yes, do There's it. There's so many ways, whether it's in person or online. And mm -hmm. um, just a side thing, what Lagos was talking about, being consistent with your schedule, going out, if you're um, going out physically, but also online, you know, if you're doing, like I do my live streams last month, I did them every day. And I let everyone know for the month of September, I was going to do it every, every day. It was crazy, but I felt like I needed to just, that was for me to just get into the habit again of, you know, getting comfortable. But they knew I was there every night. And then at the end of September, I said, okay, we're going to do every Tuesday night. You guys know we, me and Milagros are here on Thursday. So when mm -hmm. you start to build that consistency, whether it's online or in the field, your customers, when you're going out, if they know you're going to be at the corner barbershop every Thursday morning, they'll know to look for you there. So building that consistency is also a part of your professionalism. Sign yes. up. Yes. And building a hub. You know, imagine if you have um, a place that you can go every week, once a week, the same the same day and your customer expect you, you're going to be, um, you know, taking orders, giving orders to your customers. You're going to be, um, you know, training the people that you bring in because that's one of the things that, that, that we did a lot. We train, we, um, you know, we uh, gave orders to our customers so we don't have to be doing deliveries. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's just building a relationship locally so everybody knows that you are the Avon lady in your area. And when they talk about Avon, they say, oh, Victoria, Victoria's the Avon lady, Alice is the Avon lady, Tracy's the Avon lady, Lisa's the Avon <laughs> So know you. It's true. Yes. And even if you can't, again, if you're not comfortable doing online or if you can't go out, even if they know where to find you, like, for example, now during this season, you know, they know where they can come and maybe pick up their order at the door or, you know, if they can come and slip, slip their orders into your mailbox, whatever mm -hmm. it is. The, the main point is to just find a system that works for you and for your customers so that you you keep that relationship going despite the ups and downs in the season. You can't let your the seasons dictate whether or not your business is open. Yes, and there are even some areas, I wanna give you this idea that if you live on a main road, um, there, yeah, there's areas that you can just set up in front of your house with a free Avon sign and have all your neighborhood 
um, come and, um, you know, you can set up on one day out of, uh, in the weekend, you know, every weekend, but um, not all areas are the same. So you have to make sure that, that you, that you know, and if you don't know, just do it. And, and if they tell you something that you know that you can't do anymore. <laughs> Somebody used to say it's better to try it than to ask and not get the chance to try. I don't know. There's a quote. You guys probably know what it is. But yeah, go for it. Try it. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Oh, so I didn't know. Yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> they'll, usually for the first time, they'll give you a warning. Like, oh, you know, by the way, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. So, okay, pack it up and, and do something else. Yes, exactly. But, um, you know, you can also set up at a park. I have, I have seen, um, I have done a lot of events at a park. Uh, where I'm doing maybe a meeting or I'm doing a demonstration with my customers. And I'm also having my sign, my free Avon signs, and people come and, and get brochures. You set up right there um, and, and you have your, your Avon and your products and your signs. Just have fun and be, be creative and, you know, be protected, wear your mask, practice social distancing, and people understand. People are getting out already. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's been a long pro long process of uh, staying home, and um, Jan's yeah. got her back. Ask forgiveness and ask permission. Thanks, Jan. <laughs> Thank you. And Lisa also gave us the answer of the um, Avon Best of Beauty Essential Sampler. Thank you, Lisa. Yes. <laughs> so I am enjoying this chat. Um, so I hope you got a lot of ideas from, from Georgiana and from, from me and that you put this training into work, that you build your confidence, that you are consistent, that you believe in you. This is your business. And, you know, if you don't take the step to make it work, it's, it's going to drag on for years because uh, some people say, oh, I'm not going to quit. Yeah, I'm not going to quit. But what, what is it that you're doing? And are you being consistent? So it's, it's yeah. yeah. You, know, you don't want to just hang on for the sake of being dragged on, like you're on life support, you know? <laughs> you yeah. Want to, you want to be doing something, right? Build your business strong, build your right. multi level marketing, get your business to a six figure income. You can do it, but you can't recruit one person once a month. You have to be active, actively bringing in. A lot of team members because not all of them are going to stay. There's a there's some who are going to stay, and there's some who are going to fade away. Yeah. Um, I was I want to share this uh, before we go to talk about our product. Um, when I started leadership many years ago, um, I put an ad on the newspaper. I was still working. I put an ad on the newspaper. And um, on the Miami Herald, it cost me $500. It was a lot. And uh, one morning I woke up and, you know, that my phone wouldn't stop ringing. Well, I ended up signing over 100 representatives in two weeks. I was doing like, um, you know, group meetings, getting everybody on board, um, talking to them about the benefits. I was doing that at the, actually at the district office. Um, she let me borrow the office and I was doing the meetings. But, um, you know, I stayed from that, those over 100 that I recruited. Um, today, I have none of the ones who signed. Those 100 people, I have none. I, I was able to keep a small team of maybe 20 who stayed for maybe a year, but they started fading away. So imagine my, my whole thing of this whole story, is, uh, a lot of you, you know, start recruiting and you bring in 20, 20 team members or 30 or 40. And yes, and then you stop. Then you stop and you say, okay, I'm going to keep this team for the rest of my life. It doesn't work that way. You know, you have to bring in the masses. You have to be consistent. You got to be active. And just bring in your numbers because you it, this this is uh okay it's like if you you buy a car let's say you buy a car and your car breaks right you have to replace it right 
same thing for people people don't people have situations they have um you know family issues they uh, have different things that, that is out of your control so to build your team strong you have to start recruiting and you cannot stop recruit develop that team be consistent in bringing in your numbers and you're going to see that at the end you are going to um, have just this beautiful picture of entrepreneurs that you have brought in <clears throat> and a percentage of them who are working the business and who duplicated what you do. And guess what? A six figure income. I love the car analogy. I think that that's a great analogy because especially in this season, we saw when um, we first be, we were um, self, what was the word self? Where's my brain this morning? Self quarantine. <laughs> we, we everybody stopped driving, right? So let's say, for example, you went out and you bought that new car, but you didn't start it. You mm -hmm. didn't um, service it. You didn't go for a drive with it. You bought it and you did nothing with it again for weeks or for months. Um, I was actually just um, giving someone a jump start the other day because at the beginning of all of this, so what was that? February or March of this mm -hmm. year. So we're talking quite a few months. They just didn't go out or drive or start their car. And the car just, it just stopped working. They, I don't even know what they need to replace, but we couldn't even get the, the car to start with the jump start. It was just so dead. It's the same thing with your business. Yeah, you can go out that one time and have a hugely widely successful, you know, new customers, new teammates. But if you don't ever go out again, if you don't go back and start that car, if you don't breathe life into it again and again and again, it's just, it, it's gonna give out on you. So I love, love the car analogy. Yes, it's, it, that's great. And, and you know, you put it in a, in a, in a way that's, that's a little different. It's, it's about taking care of what you have. Because if you bring in a team member and you don't answer the call, so you don't have your meetings, you don't develop that, that, that team, you don't maintain that car, then what happens? Everything breaks down. It dries up, shrivels up. Yeah. <laughs> then you got to go out and get a new one. <laughs> yes, and it'll be a vicious cycle all the time. Yes, yeah. So, you know, I think that events is a great way to develop skills and Bring to life into your yeah. business regularly and build momentum. We all need momentum, we all need to stay active. And you know, there's a great social life out there that we can't build at home. Mm -hmm. So get out there and make it happen, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. So Lily, what do you got for us? Product. Yes, I <laughs> want to talk about uh, Fissy Gel, but in terms of men, my husband loves this product. And, and we're, yes, we're always talking about what we can suggest uh, the man to wear uh, for skincare, you know, they have the same skin as us. And if they don't take care of their skin, they're going to end up with lots of wrinkles and irreversible <laughs> damage. You guys wrinkle too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure that you take care of your husband, that you take care of the husbands of your customers. Um, you know, what I have found that my husband doesn't like um, a lot of the, uh, the products for skincare because he works out in the yard, he sweats a lot, um, and he, um, you know, that the skincare runs over his eyes and irritates him. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. The other thing that he also gets, uh, um, you know, pimples from uh, skincare clogging his pores. So this one here, the Fissure Gel, is for extra sensitive skin. It can be um, uh, worn for you know your entire body, totally safe, even though this is a face cream. But you can also use it as a hand cream. It's very thick and it locks in the moisture. That's what I love about it. That is absorbing and when you try it, it I mean, it, it's it's um, it's non-greasy, of course. It's super super sensitive, and it goes along for super sensitive skin, hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested. It goes a long way. This little tube goes a long way. Yeah, 
I've been finding with a lot of the new products, the formula is so good. Mm -hmm. um, it's thick, it's rich, it's um, a lot of new products are luxurious. Um, and they do, they do go a very long way. And I love that um, you were talking about this product for the guys because um, like you said, a lot of people, I feel like especially my male customers, they're like, no muss, no fuss, I need lotion. Well, what mm -hmm. kind of lotion? They don't wanna get into all the questions. They want something that they could just use. <laughs> A product like Physiogel that is hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, um, that is for sensitive skin, no perfume, no dyes, no colorants. Um, like you said, for a person who's out in the field sweating, they don't have to worry about the, those chemicals irritating their skin. And they can use it on their hands, they can use it on their face because it is so, it's like a universal product. So yeah. I think that the Physiogel is a great, um, great product to share because of its simplicity. Mm -hmm. I, I, know, I mean, I'm, a, I'm that person who loves the complex ingredients, but sometimes you just need something basic. <laughs> and, and you know, it comes in a tube. You know, this is this is something men like. They don't like to be opening <laughs> a fancy jar and, you know. The tubes and the pump. My dad loves a pump because he could just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so by all means, I, I I purchased it for my husband. I am using it. I love to use it for my hands and also my neck area. All you know, I'm obsessed with. <laughs> skincare, the first thing. <laughs> I'm obsessed <laughs> with my neck area. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, especially I was just saying this morning, my lips and my hands have been drier because we're moving into this, you know, fall season. It's a little bit drier. I mean, you're you're not experiencing fall yet down there in warm Florida. <laughs> but here in New York, it's a little chilly. But wherever you are, when the temperature changes, you get that dryness in the air. Yeah. So I think now is also a great time to start sharing those products with your customers because they're going to be feeling it. So if you start mm -hmm. talking about and suggesting um products that can help with the dryness then when they do start to say oh you know my skin is looking a little dry they'll remember what you shared yeah so for all of you who ask what's good for the guys i've been getting that question um a lot lately um recommend physio gel it it's um great price because it lasts for over a month you just need a little a little dab to apply it in any area even for uh dry elbows mm -hmm. um your dry if you have dry knees the back you know even even your your feet if you like i i also put it on my husband's feet even oh. though it's <laughs> a little bit expensive <laughs> but he has a lot of dryness in his feet. Nobody and, wants dry feet, so. Yes. <laughs> and, oh, my gosh. It is like instant, instant hydration. Nice. That so. is a great share. <laughs> so thank you all for joining. We had a great, great time today. Yeah. Thank you, Georgiana, for all you share. And check out Georgiana's blog, um, boss, yes, boss, boss ladies. ladies, I'll share it a link. Bossladies.com for some idea on uh, ideas on free events and how uh, easy it is to set them up. She has a lot of great information on her blog, not only for customers but also uh, for all of you to to learn from. Yeah. So, a lot of goodies but thank you guys for your comments for keeping us on point you guys are quick with those uh the, <laughs> quotes. <laughs> the quotes but we hope that this inspires you guys to you know continue to work your business through this season mm -hmm. and not let this force you to close your doors because businesses is, is happening you know whether it's a lot of it is happening online but if you're not in the online you know sphere don't feel like there's nothing to do. You know, don't sit back on your your haunches and wait for things mm -hmm. to go back to the way they are, where they were, because it never will. You know, um, this is the new norm. You need to find a way to work your business through this and yeah. come out alive on the other end. Yes, and I hope this helped you share uh, this great um, training with your team. 
maybe uh, they are looking for a way to start getting out. Um, we offer you both solutions online, a combination of both or just uh, field time. So, you know, do what's best for you. Don't stay stagnant. Don't, don't get in that hole because once you're in a hole, no one's going to get you out. It's like exercising. Like once you stop, I know I'm preaching to the choir here. But <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who know me, you know, exercise. Oh, my dirty <laughs> I put oh. myself under the bus on this one, but it's like exercise. Once you stop doing it, you just don't want to go back. <laughs> you just don't want to go. <laughs> I, 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 I strung myself up on that one. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I should have said anything. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're missing out. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, she couldn't have put it in a better way. Yeah. <laughs> so I know. Thank I know. <laughs> but thank you guys all for joining us. If you have questions, feel free to let us know in the chat box, even if you're catching the replay. And if there's anything that you want to hear us mm -hmm. talk about, if you have any questions, don't be shy. Um, send it to us, you know, add it in the, the comments mm -hmm. below. We might be answering your question in one of our next videos. Yes. Thank you. Bye. See you Bye. next Bye. Saturday. Bye. Same time. <laughs>